Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Karen. I just want to apologize if you hear any licking and sniffing and coughing and farting. That is because I have a little companion down here, like a little fur baby. I apologize for that. Today's video is about how to see a doctor in China. The reason I want to make this video is because the process to see a doctor in China is quite different as in Western countries. In China, you don't need to book appointment days ahead with a family doctor. Instead, people usually go to big hospitals to get every possible treatment. So that is why today's video is about the detailed process of how you can see a doctor in the hospital. Hopefully you guys won't be needing this moment, but just in case, if you really have to see the doctor in China, you will have some clues at least to get started and won't be totally confused in this building. Let's get started. The first step after you enter the hospital building is to get yourself a number. This process is called Chu Hao or Gua Hao. Chu Hao, Gua Hao, Hao is Hao Ma. So, how to do this is you'll probably see a counter with a lot of people queuing up at the entrance of the hospital, and they will have something probably said Gua Hao, Gua Hao Chu. That is where you can get yourself a number. After lining up at the counter, they will probably ask for your symptoms or which department you are looking for. For example, if my eyes hurt, I probably need to go to the eye department. If you don't know which specific department you are looking for, you can just tell your symptoms to the nurses and they'll probably assign you to a certain department that is most suitable for you. They'll probably also ask for basic information at the counter, you give it to them, you pay, they will give you a booklet with the name, age, and basic information written. This is called Bing Li Ben. Bing Li Ben. You need to take this booklet to the doctor. They will also give you a number, of course. So after getting this, after Gua Hao, you have your number, you need to go to the department. If you don't know where to go, because different departments are located in different floors, even different buildings, you can always just ask the nurses. 请问 blah 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 怎么走? 请问 blah 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 怎么走? May I ask how can I get blah blah blah? So after you get to the department, give your number to the nurses and they will probably ask you to either wait for your number to be called. And this process is called 等叫号. 等叫号. 等 is to wait, 叫 is to call. So wait for your number to be called 等叫号. You'll probably see a monitor with rolling information of different patients' number, name, and which room they will go to. So you can just look for the information on this monitor. Or if the doctor is currently available, they'll probably ask you to, to go to the room directly. So after entering the room, you see your doctor, you need to tell them your symptoms, right? They'll probably ask you, 哪里不舒服? 哪里不舒服? Where do you feel uncomfortable? So I've summarized some of the most commonly used phrases to describe some commonly seen symptoms that we'll probably need. First one is aching or somewhere hurts. Just basically the name of the body parts and tone. So if my eyes hurt, 眼睛痛, 眼睛痛. Headache, 头痛, 头痛. Arms hurt, 胳膊痛, 胳膊痛. 胃痛, stomachache, 胃痛, 胃痛. Joints hurt, 关节痛, 关节痛. If you don't know the names of the body part, you can always point it to them. 这里痛, 这里痛. Okay, that would be my biceps. 这里痛. So if you also feel like a little bit soreness plus the aching, that is called 酸痛, 酸痛. 酸 literally means sore. If you have a cold, that is called 感冒, 感冒 catching a cold. 发烧, 发烧, to have a fever. 咳嗽, 咳嗽, to cough. 嗓子痛, 嗓子痛, you have a sore throat. 嗓子痛. If you feel nauseous, that is called 恶心, 恶心. 恶心, to vomit, even worse, to vomit, 呕吐, 呕吐. If you have diarrhea, 腹泻, 
or 拉肚子，腹泻，拉肚子。On the contrary, if you have constipation, that is 便秘，便秘，腹泻 and 便秘。If you cannot sleep, if you have insomnia, that is called 失眠，失眠。Or you can just say 睡不着，睡不着 If you feel dizzy, that is 头晕，头晕 If you have food poisoning, that is 食物中毒，食物 food 中毒 to be poisoned. 食物中毒 food poisoning. So based on your symptoms, the doctor will probably ask you to have a further check or give you the prescription directly. If you need a further check, 进一步检查，进一步检查 they'll write you a note. With this note, you need to pay first, 付款，付款 and then with the receipt, 小票 you go to the check room to have your check. If you don't know where to pay, you can always ask the staff. 请问哪里付款？请问哪里付款 After paying, get your receipt. You go to the check room. You wait for a result. After getting a result, you take this result back to your doctor. If they give you a prescription, with this prescription note, you need to, of course, pay first, 先付款 and then with the receipt, you get your medicine. And this picking up your medicine process is called 取药取药 If you don't know where to pick up your medicine, remember how you can ask. 请问哪里取药请问哪里取药 This process. 取药 is also quite different as in Western countries. Usually in Western countries, you get your note, your prescription, you go to separate pharmacies to buy your medicine. But in China, usually we pick up our medicine right at the hospital, at the 药房 Usually there are two different types of medicine counters. The first one is for Chinese medicine, 中药房中药房 Another one is for Western medicine. 西药房，西药房。So you'll probably need to pick up your medicine separately. So after you get the medicine, you can happily go home and get healthy again. And that is today's video about how to see a doctor in China. I hope it at least give you guys some clues if you really need this moment to see a doctor in China. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have other requests, please leave them down below. And that's it. I'm Karen. See you guys next time. Bye.